All right, so we create a simple calculator. Okay, so I'm just going to run it. We did this in the previous video. I'll run the simple calculator, and you will see that it's actually a little interface with a text field where I can write stuff and buttons. Now, what we want is those buttons to actually do something. Okay, so what happens here is that I need, first, I need a couple of things. Um, main thing is I need uh, listeners. A button or any other GUI control listens for events like a click or something like that. It's called listening, listening for events. And Java has some abstract, uh, some interfaces that are called action listeners, okay? Which basically implement a method that is called when the GUI detects an event, okay? And that event, for example, um, it's called action performed. Okay, so whenever you click on something, that button goes to its action listener and calls action performed. Now we haven't set any action listeners. We don't know what to how to do that. Okay, so nothing will happen. But we will actually override those action listeners in the buttons, and we will uh, implement the methods action the method action performed so it performs an action on the event. For example, a click. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to implement the action for the button clear. Well, while I press clear, I want it all to become zero. So what I will do is um, is create a class, a new class. Okay, I'm going to create a new class that I'm going to save as clear action. Okay, so here. Clear action. That's going to be my. That's going to be my listener, and I will uh, import Java X swing dot star because I'm going to use some events. But now, uh, because I'm going to use some components, but I'm also going to use events, and the events for GUIs are. You, you, for any deal, dealing with events, you have to import java.awt.event. Okay? All right, now let's go to the class, a clear action. So I'm going to create the class, public class, clear action, and it will implement, implements an action listener. Okay? When a class implements an interface, it must uh, it must implement the methods of that interface, so I must code those methods, okay? Uh, we, we will get there. Now, when I, when, when, um, when I uh, need, uh, when I want to perform a clear action, I will perform this action in a text field, right? So if we go back to the GUI calc, there's a text field here, input, J text field, right? This is the input that I want to clear when when the button C is pressed. So I need a I need a reference to a text field that I can clean. So we'll create a couple of variables here. Um, it can be public or protected or just you know package visibility J text field text. Okay, that'll I'm gonna just clear that. So I'm gonna say public. Uh, I'm going to create a constructor, clear action, j text field t, and this is a very simple constructor. I'm just setting this dot text to to t. Okay, so this is optional. The this word. Now here's I need to implement this method: public void action performed. If you try to compile this class without implementing that, the compiler is going to tell you that you need to implement this action perform method because I'm implementing the action listener interface, which has this method, but it's not implemented. So it is my job to implement this method. Action performed receives an action event E. Okay, so in here, within the action perform, I say I, I do whatever it is that I need to do. And what I need to do is the text field that was passed to me, I'll just set the text to nothing, meaning I will clear this. Okay? So this will compile. No TO is, I'm sorry, is text. 
text. There you go. And this compiles. Basically what this says is that if this is my action listener in a button, whatever button I pass in the constructor will be cleared when the action is performed, mainly, namely the click. So let's tie this action listener to the actual button. We go back to the GUI calc and we'll say, well, we've created our our um, our buttons and stuff. So in the clear button, I'll say, um, in the in the clear button, I will actually say um, say the clear right add action listener. This is something that buttons come with, okay? And I will add this action listener. Um, so I'm going to instantiate a clear action event new clear action and in the constructor I need to pass it the text field that I want to clear and that text field is input okay now it would be my best uh, interest to actually declare input before I do this right so so it's visible okay so I've attached an action listener to the clear button and that action listener is the new action listener that I created and I pass it the text that I want to uh, clean, which is the input, which is that text there. Okay, so let's compile this <coughs> and um, execute it. So what I will notice here, here's my calculator, and I will put whatever number it is. These buttons do nothing, but then if I push C, that clears the output. C clears the output. Okay, basically clears that that text now. This is how you would implement an action. Now, another uh, action listener that we want is one for the plus and minus buttons. Okay. Now, for the plus and minus buttons, I will need to either add or subtract to a total. So I need a common variable here that would be a total. And we'll do that in the next video.